Hello and welcome to my Xerti How To number 11. In this short video we'll be looking at adding a hotspot image page to our learning pack. Ok so I want to add a page which lets me have a hotspot on it. So I'm going to click on insert and it's an interactivity page. And the one I want, the hotspot image, is the one that look, has an icon that looks a little bit like a TV monitor or an old fashioned computer screen and says hotspot image. And as always, it's automatically added to the end of my page list. So the next thing I want to do is to let the learner know what the page is about. So in order to do that, I'm going to put in a page title which is Terms You Should Know. Then I need to let the learner know how to use the page and what they'll get out of it. So again I add that but this time to the text itself. And there's the information that I needed. So let's publish it and play it and here's my pack coming in it's at the very end of the pack but just like with an advanced image page unfortunately until we actually add some images to this page or an image to this page it just won't show any text so let's go back and do that as with an advanced image page, I'm going to click, I'm going to import an image by clicking on select an image button and then I'm going to bring in my particular image. So I open that up and at this point it will have brought in my image. So let's publish that and let's play it. Once again it's the last page and here we go we've got the wordle, the image with all the terms on it. So what we're going to do now is to add a hotspot image to make these interactive. You'll also notice it needs the tooltip putting on which describes the image itself. OK, so let's shut this down. We've got this far, but what we need now is to actually add a hotspot. So we click on New Hotspot. And when we do that, we get the hotspot title. Now, my first hotspot is going to be about dog breeds. So, where the hotspot title is, I put in Dog Breeds and then where the hotspot text is I put in all the information about dog breeds however it won't work unless I tell Xerti where on the image the hotspot information has to go so I need to go to the edit hotspot button which is here so I click on that and it pulls up my image or a small version of my image and on that image is a box that I can move around and if I go to the bottom corner I can change its shape and that allows me to highlight the part of the image where my hotspot is going to be. So I'm going to drag it down over dog breeds try and make it not much bigger than the actual term itself and then you don't accidentally click in the wrong hotspot later on and that's it I've told it where the dog breeds information that I've got over here in the properties is going to be on my image so I click on the cross and now I need to publish that and play it and let's just see how that's working so page 4 this time it has a link when I go over dog breeds and if I click on it there is my information so we're building up our hotspot image 
let's go back and carry on with the other three terms. We'll also need to go back and enter a tooltip. The way I do that is go to the top of the page and in there it says enter a tooltip. And the image is actually about dog breed terms. So I'm going to put dog breed terms into my image tooltip. So there's my first hotspot area with all my information on it. I could, if I wanted to, insert a brand new hotspot and start again from scratch. But let's do what we've done previously and copy our information. So we copy and we then edit the information that's there. So I pick up subspecies and copy it and paste it from my notepad because that's the next term. And then I pick up the text about subspecies and do the same and replace the information on dog breeds. Now the next thing I need to do is to edit the hotspot because if you remember this hotspot is to do with dog breeds not subspecies. So I click on edit and our hotspot locator appears, the image inspector and I want to do subspecies and this is a different shape so if I take it up to the top left corner and then change the shape with the small yellow square button at the bottom that should cover subspecies. If I publish it and then play the project and go to page 4 and this time I not only have the dog breeds information I have the subspecies information as well. So let's close that window and do exactly the same for the next two hotspots. So the next one I want is the term dog breed club. So again put it in and replace what's there. Get the text, my notepad, copy it and paste it in there. Don't forget to edit the hotspot every time otherwise you'll have problems. Now this hotspot is a slightly different shape so I'm going to move it over to here. What I'm trying to do is to fill in the extra bit that isn't quite showing on the image editor or image inspector. And then finally I do the very last one which is breed standards. Okay, so we copy the breed standards heading and replace the heading on this page and do the same with the information and replace that. And again, don't forget to edit the hotspot so that it actually covers breed standard. If it's roughly the same size, it's a lot easier if you just move it. And then if we publish it, and play it. You should see on page 4 here we are dog breeds, subspecies, breed standards and dog breed clubs. So there we have a nice interactive page that the students can learn terms by just clicking on and learning one term at a time. So the only other thing we need to do is put it in the right order. You can alter the orders of the hotspots within a page but I'm going to move the entire page up so it ends up just before the end page. So let's have a look at it now. And there we go. We've got our interactive page as our third page which is terms that the learner should know about dogs. There are other things we can do to tweak it slightly but we'll come to those in a later video. So that's how to put an interactive hotspot page onto your pack.